I have a candy thermometer and I'm not afraid to use it. This is buttermilk fudge. I noticed on YouTube that there is yet another video where an atheist has demanded of atheists to explain what came before the Big Bang. <laughs> That's right, not astrophysicists, not theoretical physicists, but atheists. Atheists must explain what came before the Big Bang. So, this is like the 50,000th video out there where a theist has demanded of atheists the same thing. Let's take a look. Atheists cannot answer this question. We know time, space, and matter was all created at the Big Bang. Actually, we know that with high certainty, but there are people out there, including theoretical physicists, who disagree. We can skip that part. But if it was all created at the Big Bang, what caused the Big Bang? The answer to the question, what caused the Big Bang, is... Nobody knows. An infinite number of universes driven by scalar fields due to an energy quotient in a false vacuum that plunges into a true vacuum, releasing the energy, and some of that energy goes back to the false vacuum vacuum, etc, 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 etc. What created that scalar field that drove the Big Bang to bang? Nobody knows. What about that false vacuum? What, where did that come from? And where did the true vacuum come from before the Big Bang banged? Nobody knows. As far as I know, nobody knows. The cause would have to be something timeless, spaceless, and immaterial. So, the cause of the Big Bang must be, I'd like to see his math for that must be, timeless, spaceless, and immaterial. Like, you know, false vacuum. And the atheist would say, we don't know. The atheist. The atheist. There is one atheist out there, and she or he will say, we don't know. <laughs> As if all of the world's atheists out there have the same knowledge and the same opinion regarding quantum mechanics and how it applies to astrophysics and the early universe. Yeah, like a homogenous field that permeates the universe and only atheists tap into that and that homogenous field has knowledge that theists just don't have because they can't tap into that field. Ah, oh, good gods. Atheists do not need to know quantum mechanics. They don't need to know the basics of how quantum mechanics applies to the early universe. And by early, I mean about five billionths of a second. Uh, general relativity does a really good job of describing the early universe up to the Big Bang. But then you get like infinities over infinities and you're dividing by infinities, by infinities, et cetera, et cetera. That's right, infinities. Ah, the atheist will say if she or he is even slightly educated in the subject, we don't know. You know what the problem is? Theists will say, without evidence and incorrectly, that they know what caused the Big Bang. That's the problem. Well, it is only a problem if they insist on forcing their beliefs into government and into, specifically, public schools. Other than that, I don't give a shit what, uh, what theists believe caused the Big Bang. So if you don't know, why could it not be God? Why, there's sound logic for you. Why could it not be a God? <laughs> as far as I know, um, nobody says it could not be gods or a God. As far as I know, I mean, there, there must be some 
people out there saying, nope, it must not have been a god. The gods didn't do it. it nope, 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 nope. Asking why it could not be the gods. <laughs> it's like asking, oh, I don't know, why could it not be a superposition of Dr. Schrodinger and a cat named, oh, let's say, Jennifer? Why could not this being have caused the universe? It makes the same logic and the same, uh, uh, I suppose we could call it a question, even though it's an assertion, poised as a question. Are half Dr. Schrodinger and half Kitty being? Could have happened. I mean, can't say that it didn't, according to this theos logic. And if there is no God. If there is no God. I am an atheist. I have never said that there are no gods. I have never said I believe there are no gods. So. And why is there something rather than nothing at all? Let me see. Why is there something rather than nothing? Hmm. Could it be because there's no such thing as nothing? Could that possibly be the correct answer? Yeah. There's no such thing as nothing. Oh. I wonder if this this actually believes that he did a oh, I got you atheist by the, the short and curlies. You can't answer these questions. Therefore, I win by default. <laughs>